Again and again, traffickers seem to get away with it. At least Selma managed to get a job with the police with the help of a charity. It was ironic, because even though Selma now worked for the police, she still could not bring her trafficker to justice. India has many laws and government initiatives which could, in theory, stop child trafficking. But as its economy booms, the demand for cheap child workers continues in factories and in homes. As India's middle classes get wealthier, the poor continue to be exploited. Legal aid is a right in this country, but again, you need lawyers to come forth and work at that level. The public prosecutors are completely untrained on children's issues. So they really are not aware of uh, even the latest Supreme Court and High Court judgments which are positive. They're not aware of most laws. So they're not going to stand there and fight for the child. Calcutta will always be a magnet for the desperate. And in this tough city, the most vulnerable are women and children. South of the city, the Sanlap Center houses women and girls who are victims of violence and trafficking. Indrani Sinha, Sunlap's founder and a leading anti-trafficking campaigner, invited me to watch a performance that the residents had rehearsed for me. <laughs> residents are encouraged to come to terms with their abuse and to build self-esteem through counseling and dance therapy. After the performance, some of the girls were willing to share their stories. 18-year-old Rita has been at Sanlap for a year. After a fight with her father and stepmother when she was just 16 years old, she ran away with a friend who had promised to get her a good job. Instead, she was sold into a brothel. <laughs> So this man, he then abused her, uh, used bad language, and didn't really hit her, but uh, uh, raped her. And did she get raped once? Were there other people? Huh. So first uh, week they did not send anybody because she was very unwell, and she couldn't get up and all after that rape. So, but after that they started sending some people. How many people do you think? She was not hit by them, but they used to abuse her and send her at least three, four people every day. You don't want to go back to the house because your stepmother's still there? So what do you think you want to do? Do you have any idea of what you want to do? She'll do her graduation mm -hmm. and then, then she'll do MBA. Okay. And she's very hardworking, very intelligent. Don't get upset. No, Dipti, it's, it's a good feeling when it comes out, you know, it's some kind of a, you know, like venting out, you know, the frustrations. So it's a good feeling. Okay. Yeah. Good. Sometimes, you know, they don't speak for days, they don't speak. They take lots of 
responsibilities, work, education. They're going everywhere. They're very happy dancing. But then, you know, when once you sit down and then they start uh, speaking about themselves, then they, you know, all this comes up. You know, it's revisiting some of the sorrow or the, or the you know, the bad experiences. But it also feels good after that. I cry all the time. Tell him that it's okay. Yeah, mio kandi to mar moto shop shomai. I mean, I mean, likhi likhle amar bhalo lagle. To mio shita kotho para. Seventeen-year-old Rupa came to Sanlap from a government shelter. They'd rescued her from a brothel where she'd been since she was fourteen. Ami gye dekhi je chhoto chhoto dress pula chhe. When when you were locked in the room was she was beaten and then like was she did they give her drugs what did they what else <laughs> and how did you how did you feel with that medicine <laughs> She used to get uh, very hungry after taking that medicine and she had swollen feeling with that medicine. That's what she can explain. Did it feel bad or did it feel good? No, it was good. It was good. It used to feel good. It used to feel good with the medicine. Yeah. Okay. And then what happened? <laughs> Uh -huh. Customers were sent to her, and she was forced to do prostitution. How many people would come in? Hmm. Ten to twelve customers a day. Ten to men. Ten to twelve men will come per day. Um, were they still giving the drugs? I couldn't. তারপরে কি আর ওষুধ দিয়েছিল তারপরে দেয় না ওইখানে যখন তুমি শুরু করলে তারপরে আর তোমায় দেয় না when she started doing prostitution they did not give her any more drugs so it was that much worse yeah and then um, she also became pregnant so how did she feel when she knew she was pregnant from someone that she ওখানে চেয়েছিলাম ওখানকার ওই হোমের আনিকুরা পৌঁছে দেয়নি she wanted to uh, she wanted abortion but that uh, government home staff did not take any heat. They did not take any interest. So she had to carry the child. How long was she there for? One month. Okay. She was uh, there, but she already got pregnant. Mm. So uh, so that's why she is saying that she, I was very happy to come out of that place. Yeah. That I was rescued because she was pregnant. Now she is in a dilemma to take her child or not to take her child. One, one day she says she's going to take her child. The yeah, next day and if she's she take, not. And if she takes her child, what happens? Where does she have to go? She's in a dilemma. She doesn't want to leave her child and again she says she But does she to have live. to leave here? She's in a dilemma. She wants to take her child. She wants to take her child. Well, yesterday she told me she doesn't want to take her child. And today she has, she has again changed. I know she's going to start crying. No. No. Has she? She's going to stay here. She doesn't She can't stay. She can't stay. With the child. Yeah. No, but she can stay with the child. She can stay alone. She can leave the child. Whatever she wants. I'm with her. But she wants to go home also. That's also very, very important. Oh, she has just got a child two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, 
ਅਸੀਂ ਚੱਲ ਜਾਈਏ